What's up guys, it's Gorilla Chemist here, Chief Science Officer at Blackstone Labs. Here to talk about our newest anabolic precursor, Abnormal, okay? So if you've seen my videos before, we talked about Chosen One and Brutal Force being DHE derivatives that convert into an active androgen. Uh, this, it's kind of the same thing right now, only this one's slightly different and extremely potent. So the main ingredient is 19 nor 4 dhea so on its own right now it's inactive and it needs two enzymatic steps inside the body to convert into the active compound so the first enzymatic step is taking this ketone here on the 17th carbon and converting it into a hydroxyl group via the enzyme 17 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase so that turns this compound into 19 nor 4 androstene diol. Uh, this compound actually used to be available on the market and was pretty potent on its own. It only took one step to convert to the active. So now uh, nor androstene diol goes through the enzymatic reaction that takes this hydroxyl group or alcohol group and converts it into the necessary ketone uh, so that it can bind to the androgen receptor via the enzyme 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase. So now we have the active compound, which is 19 nor testosterone. Uh, some of you may know it as nandrolone. Nandrolone is a very, very anabolic molecule, okay? So it has a ratio, an anabolic to androgenic ratio of anywhere from six to one up to 12 to one versus testosterone. So what does that mean? That means that it's up to six times to 12 times more anabolic than testosterone um, while maintaining the same androgenic effect. So that way, you're, it's able to build more muscle. The, this compound is mostly focusing on building lean muscle tissue rather than the androgenic side effects that you get from say Trojan Force or DHT, any of those type of things. Um, one, of, one thing I did want to note, uh, just that we're talking about chemistry and stuff. So 19 nor means that there's a hydrogen here instead of a methyl group. Normally this denotes a methyl group. There's only a hydrogen here. Now, what that basically does and why it works so well is it makes this ring structure flatter. So that way, um, when that methyl group is there, it kind of sticks out and it doesn't bind as well to the androgen receptor. Being that it's missing there, uh, 19 nor derivatives bind much more tightly to the androgen receptor. So that's basically why they're more um, anabolic in nature. Now, um, this product actually is really cool because the first questions I always get are, does it convert to estrogen? Does it convert to DHT? What are the possible side effects? So um, via the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, it does convert into dihydronandrolone, which is not DHT. DHT, like I said before, is excuse me, much more androgenic. And the reason for that is that uh, dihydronandrolone actually has a much lower binding affinity to the androgen receptor than DHT does which is surprising uh, when I read the research, uh, but it, I guess it has to do with, uh, with the 19 norm carbon missing, so that way that the ring is still more flat and it actually doesn't bind as well to the end receptor. So regardless, you're not gonna get the same side effects that you would get from DHT derivatives, um, such as enlarged prostate and things like that. So this is not a side effect that I would be too concerned about. Um, now people ask me, does it convert to estrogen? Uh, yes, it does, but it actually converts to estrogen at a very low rate, only about 20% versus testosterone. So what I recommend people do is they have eradicate with it um, and I would take it as needed because of the fact that it goes at such a slow rate to estrogen versus testosterone. So overall, this molecule, in my opinion, is much safer than testosterone uh, as far as side effects go. And if you're familiar with the uh, pharmaceutical versions of these compounds, um, there are less side effects uh, with nandrolone versus testosterone. Um, this compound is also uh, esterified inside this in uh, abnormal. And what that means is that on this alcohol group right here, we added uh, two different esters plus the unesterified version. So you have three molecules in here that peak at three different times. Uh, if you look at this uh, graph right here, basically you have the unesterified version that peaks very quickly uh, and lasts up to about uh, four to six hours. And then you have the enanthate ester come in and then finally the decanoate ester in here. So that way you're getting multiple peaks, but you're getting overlap of all of them at once. So 
some of the competitors' products don't include the esters, and they only have the uh, the unesterified version. So that basically will give you one peak and then nothing for the rest of the day, which is why you have to take them multiple times. Uh, we at Blackstone included the esterified version, so that way you guys can take the pills twice a day, just like Brutal Force and Chosen One. The uh, the esters are different. This one includes uh, an anthate and decanoate, and so they have slightly different time frames. Uh, but overall, they are very similar to the two, so it's still designed to be dosed twice daily. Um, we also have liposomal delivery, which I've talked about before, but in case this is your first video, I'm going to go over it again. Uh, basically, a liposome is made up of these things called phospholipids, which have a polar head and a nonpolar tail. And polar means it dissolves in water, and nonpolar means that it goes into oil. Um, this compound, the active compounds in abnormal, uh, go into oil. They're oil soluble versus water soluble. So if you took them without this liposomal delivery system, you may not get the bioavailability that you want. But with the liposomal delivery system, we've measured bioavailability up to 95%. This basically acts as a protective system, so it guards the active molecule from degradation of your stomach acids which can break these molecules down, as well as uh, different enzymes that make them inactive before they reach your final destination. So inside, if you look at here, you have the polar part, which goes into water, which your body is you know, 80% water. So this is how you're actually getting the molecule into your body and protecting it. And the molecule is encased in the non-polar part where it's soluble. And then the liposome itself has the same makeup as our cell membranes, which have our phospholipids as well. So through a process called endocytosis, the liposome actually goes into the cell where it's lysed and then delivers the active compounds, which then bind to the androgen receptor, which results in increased muscle protein synthesis, decreased recovery time. Like I said, this is an extremely anabolic compound versus testosterone. Um, People ask me about stacking this one. So Abnormal can stack with Chosen One, Brutal Force, or both. I would recommend that it's, you stack it with Brutal Force, and, and here's my reasoning. Nandrolone, being a 19 nor derivative, can cause slightly more suppression of your natural testosterone versus uh, test, uh, Brutal Force or Chosen One. So we recommend that you take Brutal Force with it to kick up your testosterone levels while you're taking this cycle. So that being said, a PCT is absolutely necessary for this compound because you will get suppression of your natural testosterone levels. Now, because it's so strong, we do recommend that you take PCT5 as well as Apex Male for a full recovery of your natural levels. And you do want to take this for, your, if you're doing an eight week cycle, you do want to take that four week PCT time and then an equal eight week off. So if you were to do a cycle, you would be eight weeks on, four weeks off for PCT, and then another uh, eight weeks completely off in order to get maximum benefits. So, so the compound in abnormal is 19 nor 4 DHEA, which takes two enzymatic steps inside the body to get to the active compound, which is 19 nor testosterone, AKA nandrolone. Like I said, it does uh, not convert to DHT and it converts to dihydronandrolone, which is much less androgenic versus DHT and has a much lower binding affinity to your prostate and scalp. So hair loss is not, is not a side effect as well. Uh, it also has a much lower rate of conversion to estrogen versus testosterone. So uh, eradicate is recommended to have on hand because you never know what can happen. Everyone reacts differently. However, uh, it's not going to be the same rate as if you were taking Brutal Force. We included two esters plus the unesterified version so that you get three peaks over the course of 12 hours. So we recommend that you take this twice daily. Um, and we also included the liposomal technology, which really is this, the superstar here. This is what is making sure that this compound actually gets into your cells and works. Um, without liposomal technology, the most conversion rate I've seen in the study is about 15%. Like I said, with the liposomal technology, we're getting up to 95% bioavailability. So uh, this is part in the nonpolar part here, through endocytosis, goes into the cell membrane where it's lysed and then delivers the molecules where they're converted and then binds into the androgen receptor. So for me, the Gorilla Chemist, Chief Science Officer here at Blackstone Labs, 
that should be it for today. If you have questions, you can always hit me up on my Instagram at the Gorilla Chemist. Uh, tune in next time when we talk about future products.